This year, my brother turned 30 and moved to Sweden to start a new life adventure. So it only seemed right to go out there and spend his special day with him. I've also never been to Sweden, so I was beyond excited to see what it would be like. I arrived pretty late, but it was absolutely beautiful to see the city at night. I couldn't pinpoint where it reminded me of, but it was honestly so magical. I'd say it was a cross between Germany and Prague, but with wider streets. All in all, stunning views all around. The only complaint I have is the sea mist. It instantly made my hair go ultra frizzy and well the Hagrid look took over once again. As I mentioned I arrived at around 11 p.m. so we just made some quick veggie pasta with tomato sauce that my brother had bought earlier. We heated up some frozen veggies in a pan, boiled the pasta with some salt and oil and finally just added a pre-made pasta sauce. Not the best for you but it's the easiest thing to whip up when you just want something quick but filling. We ate and chatted and had a lovely evening just catching up. The next day we spent most of the morning just walking around the city and exploring the different areas. My brother has just been here a week so far so everything was also very new for him. Then we stepped into my brother's favorite place, the supermarket. My brother has an obsession with supermarkets and although I love a good supermarket, I don't really understand the obsession but that's until I came across Oatly and remembered that it's a Swedish company. So yes, I'd also be pretty obsessed with supermarkets if I lived in Sweden. I completely forgot that Oatly is Swedish and I came into the supermarket and saw the Oatly and I was like, especially because it's like one euro or something. That's unheard of for Oatly. Oatly in other countries is extremely expensive, but it's probably one of the best oat milks out there. So I'm stocking up. I'm also currently trying to find oats. I don't know what they're called in Swedish and I have no idea where to find them. Okay, so found them. It's called Havre. I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced in Swedish. So if you're ever wondering, that is the word for oats and there are a lot. We actually thought it was flour because it really looks like flour, but no, it is oats. As you guys know, I'm always going for my frozen fruit, my oat milk, my peanut butter, and my oats. These are called halun. I guess that means raspberry. Before heading back to make breakfast, we stopped at a coffee shop called Espresso Coffee that basically looked identical to Starbucks, but with way better coffee. Okay, at a first glance, the interior design felt a lot like Starbucks, but once you sit down, make yourself comfortable, and take a better look, the vibe is much cozier and luxurious looking. And I'm also praying to God that that fur that I'm laying on is not real because sis that would not be cool. I got myself a large latte with oat milk and of course I added a bunch of cinnamon on top. This instantly became one of the best coffees I've ever tasted. Once we got home I made myself some basic avocado on toast as it's quick, easy and can never really go wrong. I also added some cherry tomatoes on top to make it a little extra fancy. Nothing beats a good avocado toast. Mmm, absolute go-to. Also, you guys, hold up. This coffee that we got from a place called Espresso House, it's so good. It's so creamy, and you know what it is? It's the oat milk. I feel like they just have good oat milk here. I mean, if they're using Oatly in every single place, then I'm not surprised. But yes, definitely get yourself a nice cheeky little latte. afternoon I made myself an iced chocolate coffee. Yeah, I'm also not really sure what that is, but it tasted damn good. I wanted to try out the chocolate milk by Oatly and let me tell you, it did not disappoint. We spent most of the day relaxing at home, sorting out my brother's place and just chatting pretty much the entire time. Sometimes it's nice not to always have to be so extra on birthdays, you know, and just have some good company. It's all you really need. Dinner came around and my brother said it's on 
me to choose the place. So, you know, I obviously went for vegan burgers. Duh, what else do you expect me to actually eat? To be honest, as soon as I landed, I searched vegan restaurants in Gothenburg and went with the top 10 that Happy Cow was suggesting. If you don't already know, Happy Cow is basically a website and app that helps you locate vegan and vegetarian restaurants near you. It's super great. I highly recommend it. I found this place called Gote Bargare Post. Oh my God, that probably sounds really awful. I apologize in advance. They basically offer a bunch of different vegan burgers and I'll be honest, the menu was slightly confusing, but thankfully they had an English one, which was still confusing, but you know, a tad better. The burgers were average and the atmosphere wasn't great, nor was the service, but at least I found vegan food, which isn't too common in Gothenburg, so I was content. Nighttime in this city is something else. I think I'm in love. It's so, so beautiful. And the weather was the perfect temperature, just strolling around and taking in the beauty. Oh, it was a perfect end to the day. But there is nothing better than a huge cup of tea to end the day with. I got this Tommy Love tea that's a blend of ginger, turmeric, and cardamom. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm obsessed with having tea before bed. It's definitely a routine for me as it makes me feel so calm and relaxed as well as very soothing on the tummy. We just watched a show about life in Japan. Super random, I know, but it's very interesting. And then we headed to bed. There is nothing better than that first sip of coffee in the morning. I kid you not when I tell you that I pretty much dreamt about having another one of those lattes from Espresso House. So as soon as I woke up, I made my way there and I grabbed one. If you've watched me for a while now, then you'll know that I have a slight obsession with oatmeal. It's definitely my go-to breakfast and anywhere I go, I try to find the ingredients I need and make it in the mornings. Depending on where I am, the oatmeal always turns out a little bit different as obviously not all ingredients will be identical in each country, but that doesn't stop it from being super super sexy each time. This time around, I added some oats to a bowl with some oat milk. However, I then realized that since my Swedish is basically non-existent, I hadn't bought fine oats. I personally always have to cook my oats unless they are fine oats, so that's exactly what I decided to do. I transferred the bowl into a pan and cooked the oats on a low to medium heat until the consistency became how I liked it. Then I added some frozen raspberries and stirred them into the oatmeal, which made everything pink. It was actually so aesthetic to look at. I also added some banana inside and combined everything together. And as you know, nothing in life works without a huge spoon full of peanut butter. It's like a sibling to me, you know, forever a part of me, no matter where I go. Okay, I know that's deep, but I just feel very strongly about it, okay? Last week, one of you told me to ditch the digestive biscuits and to try putting Biscoff on top of my oatmeal. I'm telling you guys, I take your comments very seriously. So I went ahead and did exactly that. I have to say that it actually ended up being really nice. It's not sweet at all because I didn't have any sweetener, but the peanut butter and the Biscoff biscuits, the raspberries, just the whole mixture, kinda obsessed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another guy looking for the perfect lover The kind of love you only seen in another I wasn't waiting for sunshine and unicorn have the thing have her all in and you don't burn. Can you guess what this place is? I bet you can't. Are you ready for me to tell you? Cause you're going to be very shocked. It's a student accommodation. My brother is staying here for a couple of months before he moves somewhere more permanent. And I honestly found this architecture outstanding. Very unusual, but outstanding. I have never ever seen anything quite like this. It's a student accommodation. And I think it's literally being built on rock, like existing rock, ancient rock. That's mad. I don't want to speak too loud because it actually feels like a museum. How quiet it is. It's so quiet. It's crazy. I actually feel like I'm at a historical museum. It's like you have this super cool architecture, and then it's like, okay, wow. That's unbelievably random, but I'm absolutely so here for it. It's just a random cat sitting here. That's Jim. We've named him now. Hi, Jim. How do you feel today? Mm hmm. Same. It's a bit hot, isn't it? If there's anyone looking at me now or listening, they probably think I'm crazy. I'm speaking to a cat statue, but if that doesn't describe me as a person, I don't know what does. Lunchtime. I was very, 
very excited to try out another place that was recommended on Happy Cow called Earth Cafe. The overall vibe was so welcoming and the owners were a lovely couple that had so much passion for their business. And I love to see that. It just makes your experience 10 times better. So we have come to a place called Earth Cafe. The people who own it are absolutely lovely, such great people and they make the best cakes, apparently. I mean, I haven't tasted them, but they claim to. So we might have a cheeky tiramisu. But for now, I've got the avocado grilled sandwich and my brother ordered a pizza, a vegan calzone pizza. Let's see what it's all about. Let's give it a taste test. This is the avo one with cheese inside. Oh, mm. it's very cheesy, but I love that about it. I'm gonna try my brother's one now. He got more of like a pizza calzone one. I think it has mushrooms in it though, which is scarring me a little bit, but I'm even enjoying the mushrooms, which says a lot, because I hate mushrooms. If you know me, you know. So good. Mm. Mm. You can taste the dates in it. Flavor. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like there is some type of liquor, maybe, but I don't know. I think it's dates. I'm not sure. It's not dates. It is dates. You can ask. It doesn't taste like dates, though. I don't know. I'm not sure, but it tastes really good, nevertheless. After lunch, we made a quick trip to H&M as my brother wanted to grab some basic teas, and of course, I had to experience an H&M in Sweden. How could I not? I probably should have also gone to IKEA, but you know, we'll do that one next time. Spoiler alert, it was exactly the same as any other country. No extra uh, Swedish pazes. Then my brother got himself a six euro fruit juice, which made me slightly lightheaded because six euro for a juice sounds insane to me, but it is what it is. And after a short walk around the city, I was hungry again. So we went for dinner and we had, can you guess what? Yep, burgers. See, the thing is, there really aren't many vegan options in Gothenburg, so eating at most regular restaurants wasn't an option. And when I'm hungry, a vegan burger always sounds like a good idea, no matter what time of the day or where I am, it's just a great idea. You can just never go wrong. We went to a burger chain called Bastard Burgers, and there was an entire section of vegan burgers that slightly turned me on, I'm not gonna lie about that. And it gets even better, they were all with Beyond Burger. I got myself a Beyond New York, which consisted of a Beyond meat patty with vegan cheese, bastard dressing, red onion, tomato, and crispy lettuce, along with some fries. Honestly, it was so good. I highly recommend going there if you ever go to Sweden. Everywhere I go, always eating vegan burgers because it's always an option. So it's the easiest thing to just go for, and I'm also really obsessed with it, so. It's a pretty good one, not gonna lie. It tastes kind of like McDonald's, which is weird, but. It's decent, it's pretty good. I'm constantly in a supermarket because my brother is obsessed with supermarkets. I mean, I get it. I love exploring supermarkets in different countries, but my brother's like obsessed. He's always like, let's go to the supermarket and get something. And I'm like, what do you need? He's like, I don't know, let's go. I'm like, okay. Another guy looking for the perfect lover. The kind of love you only seen in another. I wasn't waiting for sunshine and unicorn. I've nothing happened. Around and then you don't burn. 